Hello viewers, this is Sala and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with multiple windows forms. We are going to perform three different tasks. As you can see on your screen, the first one is we will open form 2, form form 1 and the second one is we are going to do the same here but we will hide form 1 and in the third task we are going to close form 1. I have two different forms, form 1 and form 2 and I have a simple interface here. Form 1 contains a label and a button and form 2 contains only a label so that we can easily differentiate between the forms. Right now I am inside the button click event. Now in order to perform the task 1 I need an instance variable of form 2. So let's just create it. Okay, so now I have instance variable f2 ready to use. What we need to do here is just to call show method. This method is gonna show form 2. Let's run the program. Click the button and here you see form 2 appears. As you can see, both the form on the screen. Our next task is to hide form 1. Okay, so I don't want this form uh, on the screen. So uh, what you need to do here is you need to call the hide method. Okay, this represents the form 1. Okay, so what we are doing here, we are hiding the form 1. It uh, will be running uh, in the background but won't be visible. So let's run the program and check it out. And here you see only form 2 is visible right now and form 1 is hidden. But form 2 is active in the background and consuming resources. Okay, now we want to close form 1 entirely. And uh, for that, so we need to call uh, close method. This method is gonna close the form, but as we close the form one, the whole application terminates. I will show you why and uh, how to fix that. Let us first check it out what's happening here. Run the program. As I click the button, you see the whole application terminates. Okay, and this is because of the form 1 is basically attached to the application. Let's go inside the program.cs file and here you will see your application run is basically attached to the form 1. Whenever form 1 goes down, the whole application goes down and this is what is happening. In order to fix it, we are gonna do two things here. The first one is we are going to detach the form 1 from the application and then we are going to show form 1 separately. So we don't need this one here. Okay, so now we have detached the application from the form 1 and we can call show method for form 1 from here. Okay, so what we have done here, our application right now has become independent and uh, it's not attached to any form and we are calling or showing form 1 separately and this solution will actually work but there is a slight problem that is we need to find a way to terminate our application right now because it is not longer attached to any form let's first check it out and see if program is working run the program so here we see form 1 
and here we see form 2 now the form 1 is closed and totally disposed when I close the form 2 so here you see application is still running we need to find a way to close the application as we close form 2 one solution is we can attach a form closing event to form 2 and uh, in form closing event so we can call application exit and we can do that by attaching the so here you have form closing event just attach the event to the program and this event will run as we close the form 2 and here in this event so we can say that close the application or terminate the application application dot exit okay so now the program is ready and it will work perfectly so run the program here we have form 1 here we have form 2 and when we close form 2 application terminates so that's it